You did have a, let's, how can I phrase this, a wild, a wild upbringing, shall we say. Is that fair enough? Yes, yes. I mean, you, let's put it like this way. Your first cars, you didn't buy them. <laughs> Not all of them. So, it, actually, the first one that I kind of owned, I bought from a friend, but I was like 13 years old. I didn't have a license, obviously. It wasn't registered or insured. But uh, yeah, I stole quite a few cars in my day. But didn't you steal the same guy's car a few I did. He was... Uh, How many times did you steal his, like, his car? Probably like 10 or 15. I mean, he would... <laughs> we'd drive around the neighborhood. He'd find it, or the cops would find it, bring it back. And I'd walk down the street, jump in the car, you know, just pinch the window and unlock it, jump back in and start it. He'd come running outside chasing me. I'd be like, hey, <laughs> but I want to apologize to him because I probably caused him a lot of heartache. He probably missed work quite a few times because we're all joyriding in his car. And then it sort of got even more wild, didn't it? You did some time? Yes, I did. I did do a brief stint in uh, prison. And then, I, I mean, this is the bit that fascinates me. You're out. Your brother's then in New Kids on the Block, the band. <laughs> <laughs> you joined. him. Because I could have done that instead. You know, they went on to make millions and millions of dollars. And I'm sitting there. The funny thing was, I remember the first time they came on TV to do one of their big performances, I'm sitting in the rec room in jail. And I'm like, hey, that's my brother. I could have been that group. And they would say, well, you're a dumb full of <laughs> Because, uh, <laughs> you know, here I am sitting there with them, you know, trying to... Uh, protect myself. Um, you are what we call over here a petrol head. I don't know what you call them, rivet heads or something. Not rivet heads. What do you call them over there in America? Your cars, gear head. Gear head, that's what yeah. I was looking for. Your cars have been good. I mean, there's, looking back through the history, what was the first one? SL? Yeah. Mercedes? That was the first one that I bought with, the, you know, a brand new car. That was the mm -hmm. first one I bought. And then now you have... A I have a Maybach, the big one, 62 inch. Yeah. <laughs> On purpose, or was it in a cereal package or something? No. <laughs> um, and then I have a uh, Brabus Mercedes 550. Tom Cruise is a big Brabus fan, isn't he? I don't know. Tom Cruise, do you not know him? We attend different churches, so I don't know. <laughs> oh, man, the one, you know. He is, uh... I'm yeah. at the one with Jesus, baby. <laughs> OK, you came down here presumably utterly bewildered that there's a bleak airstrip in the middle of England with a man who won't take his helmet off called Stig. Yeah. Who takes you out in a not very exciting car with a steering wheel on the wrong side and a lever sticking up out of the floor. Yes. Did that baffle you, by the way, the lever? It did. What was that? <laughs> Is that why you didn't treat our car quite as well as, let's say, other people treat it? I'm sorry. Did you break our car? I broke a couple of them, I think. I heard there's a cameraman over there and some poo came out of him. I don't know. The crazy thing is I went so far off the track and then next time around he was in that same exact spot. I yes. said, oh, he's got balls. Yeah. <laughs>